Uh, and here's what happened. And you have killed the Bitcoin market. I got to tell you, you've made one correct call after another. Uh, and I want to talk to you about your, your stock market predictions here. What's going to happen with the stock market now? You know, we're in May, you know, sell, sell in May and go away. What's going on? So, uh, so you're thinking that uh, we're going to get uh, some pretty heavy, rough uh, sailing here. And it could be, I know you don't follow the news much, you follow charts. But it could be this uh, China trade deal. It could be uh, uh, something caused by in you know, the Middle East or something. You know, we just uh, had ships uh, uh, sail, U.S. warships sail through the Strait of Taiwan, uh, which upset China. China is retaliating. Uh, they're talking about selling treasuries, possibly. They're talking about uh, restricting uh, uh, movement, restricting uh, uh, trade, restricting companies, uh, boycotting. I mean, China is going cray cray. I mean, uh, the, uh, the U.S. companies that went over there and thought it would be a good idea to make a fortune in a totalitarian communist regime that just installed a dictator for life with, uh, you know, social credit system and no uh, freedom of speech and freedom of religion or any freedoms whatsoever. They're probably rethinking that, oh, well, maybe we shouldn't have done business over here. I was, I was just it's, so you people know, I was talking to you in April and you were saying, you know, it's uh, not going to, you know, uh, we're going to get a real sell off in, uh, in May as it's going to be in the middle of May. And sure enough, he's around May 15th. He's going to be, it's not going to go up anymore after that. And sure enough, we took a big pounding uh, after May 15th. We've had some up days, but we had some big rocking down days. And you're saying more big rocking down days are coming. Uh, you made a great call. You called the bottom. I mean, I think it's to the day uh, 31 something and change. I don't follow Bitcoin. And you said it was going to go up to 7,400. And where is it now? I don't know, 7,800 uh, Bitcoin. Yeah, it's just around 8,000 today. Around 8,000. Uh, okay. So you said it was going to go way up. And it yeah, sure did. So and why is uh, Bitcoin breaking out and silver's not? Uh, but so you're saying that when they when they, when they quit using this fraudulent paper um, dumps on gold and silver to suppress the prices, they're going to lose control big time. So that's, Explain that's that. About why will Bitcoin and gold and silver all go up? Are, are older people going to say, eh, eh, forget Bitcoin, I'm going to go into gold and silver, old money. Uh, and is new money going to go into Bitcoin? Is that how you get these wild, you're, you're calling for pretty high increases in gold silver and bitcoin right okay uh let's talk about uh gold if you look at this and before you say anything you yeah. know we got 22 trillion just the united states and then we have 21 missing trillion that's 43 trillion uh catherine austin fitz says well it's probably you know all told it's not you know 43 trillion it's more like 50 trillion 50 trillion dollars china printed up 40 trillion that's what we know about according to michael pento and others 40 trillion the ecb has got negative interest rates and they're buying everything in sight and who knows how many euros they printed uh and who knows how, everybody else in the world seems to be printing their currency like crazy to stay afloat uh, under that backdrop of this massive bond creation which is balls of currency and massive money printing where does where does this go how high does bitcoin gold and silver go in your estimation I'm, enjoy I'm enjoying this thing, actually. Uh, here, I, I want to show up this eight year, before we move on, I want to show this eight year uh, cycle uh, for gold. Uh, tell me about the eight year cycle. What's about to happen right here? I wanted to talk a little bit about the Deutsche Bank thing for a while. And the reason why is because ever since 2016, the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, deemed Deutsche Bank the most systemically dangerous bank in the world. Here is the chart that you did on Deutsche Bank. And what do you think about Deutsche Bank? What does this chart say? Today, it's seven bucks. I mean, I'm not a chartist, but wow, that's ugly. Uh, well, if you talk about uh, how how could this happen? How could we have exponents of gold and silver and Bitcoin? And how could you get crazy, you know, multi-thousand dollar highs on gold and hundred dollars and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on silver? Ultimately, I think it's what you're saying, right? We're going to get uh, silvers in the hundred dollars and you're going to get the uh, gold prices in the thousands of dollars. Is, is that right? Okay. And, 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 and part of losing control, Deutsche Bank has... I don't know. I mean, you, who knows what kind of a fraud fest is going on, but you can easily say 30, 40 trillion in derivatives. That's just Deutsche Bank. And which is 10, 15 times the GDP of Germany. And when you start saying, wow, you could get these wild numbers. If Deutsche Bank goes under and sucks down all these other banks, you're going to get a, a, a carnival of financial debt. Uh, so, so, hold on a minute. So, so you're confident this is the grand daddy of all market crashes is that is that right what is going to happen if we have a big market crash is trump going to be booted out of office and what keeps him in office if we if, i guess if you're going to have a crash you want it sooner than later not you know 
three weeks before Election Day on 2020. What keeps Donald Trump in office? The, the Democrats have gone full communist. I mean, full well, yeah, because uh, baby remember, killing, uh, full uh, open borders, full lawlessness. I, I couldn't tell you a time I've been in the news business since the 70s. I couldn't tell you a time when the, the Speaker of the House, the third highest ranking, third in line for the presidency, Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, before a meeting, would sit there and say the president committed a crime. Now let's go in and deal. And then saying that his family should have an intervention. I mean, this is... This is desperation and wackadoodle. I know that Donald Trump is getting ready to declassify a lot of documents, and I think uh, William Barr, his new attorney general, is going to drop the hammer on the people that did this hoax. And you think this is all part of the awakening. I've heard this from uh, Kevin Shipp, who says, you know, the Democrats, there's a lot of old school Democrats that, that think that this is still the party of Kennedy. It's not. It's the party of, of Lucifer. You know, having you on is kind of like a roadmap of what you think is coming down the pipe. But you think that the best days in the stock market are over and the best days in gold, silver, and crypto are to come. You do not want to miss this interview. Click the information box at the bottom of this video and watch this interview now.